Good afternoon, everybody. Just uh, installing the uh, development branch for my Chevy Bolt. Installed the GPS up in the windshield. My friend printed that in PETG so the sun won't hurt it as bad. And I was able to install the giraffe behind here where it plugs into the OEM camera. Has the OBD input. And this is, like I said, this is going on my 2017 Chevy Bolt. And this will be the first startup of Open Pilot. It should be able to control my car. Basically, when you're driving, you set the cruise control, leave the lane keep assist off, and the camera from the phone has interfaced in between the OEM camera so it can tell it where to steer. Right now, when you're driving, it'll actually ping pong left or right if you kind of go out of the lane. But now, the Eon in the windshield there will actually be able to keep the car centered all the time. Some corners are a little too sharp and it'll tell you to take the wheel. You have to help assist it. And I don't have the control for the ACC for the cruise. So basically I just set the cruise and it'll go. They're working on a pedal uh, interface that will connect between the fly-by-wire pedal on the floor and the ECU and can read and give commands. So what I found out on these Eon, the original Eons, is you have to uninstall the dash cam and it'll do the update and install the OEM Open Pilot from Common AI first before you install dev develop branches. Otherwise they won't take, it has to have a base install on there. And this first in, the first boot takes a bit. And actually when you uninstall the dash cam, it does a neck, like an Android reboot. You see the Android logo. It's laying on the side, but it does a fresh start, installs it, and it comes up in it on the Chevy Bolt. It will say unsupported vehicle. Then you go back to your desktop and SSH back into it and put in the URL for the develop branch and it downloaded all the files did the install and now it is booting for the first time so we should see how this goes I may speed this up so you all have to sit here So now we're at the initial screens here. To do the normal EULA agreements. good so it's got to do with calibration and I'm gonna try to do this one hand 
hand it so y'all can see it. One thing I like about the Chevy Bolt is they installed the rear view camera out of the uh, iron Cadillac. You just flip it down and it's a rear view camera or a normal mirror. As you actually can see, coming down a 10 lane highway, you can see all five lanes behind you. And we gotta take a little tour down the road. I used the dash cam until I got the uh, giraffe today in the mail. This road I live on is pretty straight. There's a couple sharper curves. Starts off with a pretty good curve here. And another one at the other end. Until I get in the straight stretch. This is heading up towards uh, Royal Hall. We have a tractor supply up there. Just having somewhere close. Lowe's and Home Depot are about 10 miles away. But let's go ahead and set the cruise. And yeah, we're steering.
can make this curve. doing a lot of construction up here in Royal Hall. They're getting ready to put a bypass in. It's going to loop around Winston-Salem. Where's Terry? We only have one line here. He doesn't like it. like the white line on the side. Yeah, when it's got the two lines, it's good has the one that's kind of biased to the right a little bit. But as you can see, I am not steering. The open pilot's doing it for me. Kind of takes some getting used to. BMW i3 that had the uh, dynamic cruise on it, the ACC. Uh, made rush hour traffic really nice. But I will be back with an update. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just